Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chelsea. If you're new here, if you're not new, welcome back. I appreciate you coming back. You are the realist. If you are new, hi, how are you? Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, across all social media. I am at IMCC Suarez. My big commentary playlist will be linked up there along, and when I say up there, I mean in the corner, not down below. It'll be linked up there along with my podcast channel and some other things if I want. Anyways, a lot of y'all over the past, I want to say month or so, have been asking me to give a reaction to the Lula Rich Amazon documentary or everyone and their mother. Have you watched it? Of course I have watched it. Yes. Yes, I've been waiting for it to come out for almost a year, I think. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. Let me just start off by saying, if you have not watched the Lula Rich documentary on Amazon, please, please go watch it. It is so good. I am so immensely proud of my friend, Roberta Blevins. She is, she is a force to be reckoned with. She's amazing. She is so strong and she has done so much for this anti-MLM movement in general. Now, the documentary was amazing. I loved it. I think it was just so, 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 so well done. Personally, my favorite part of it was when one of the ex-reps and ex-employees said that she was not going to go on the cruise because a bunch of white people on a boat? No thanks. That was amazing. That was honestly one of the best parts. But I think one reason why Lula Rowe has been such a catalyst for documentaries, I mean, there's been the Vice documentary, there's been a bunch of articles written about it. I mean, everyone knows it's the hideous leggings, right? And it's super cringy. Everyone knows about it. And that's one of the reasons why so many people do know about it and why it's such an easy thing to one, make fun of, but two, make great content out of. Now with Lula Rowe, you had a buy-in. You had to buy a certain amount of inventory, which is freaking crazy. And then also the product sucked. At first, it might have been good for the time, but let's be honest, those outfits are hideous. The product was gross. The company was very poorly managed and the top couple were very manipulative. The owners rather, Deanne and whatever his name was, might as well be Joseph Smith. They, they were crazy and still are crazy. But one thing that's important to know is that almost every MLM is like that. Of course, with many of the ones these days, you don't have to have inventory. There's no crazy buy-in. And that's something that I'm seeing that a lot of other reps for Monate, for It Works, Q Sciences, Prove It, all these other MLMs that, in my opinion, are also commercial cults and that are MLMs operating as pyramid schemes. That's one of their only defenses saying, oh, well, we don't have these expensive buy-ins or, oh, yeah, no, that one is a pyramid scheme or that one is a cult, but we're different. We're different. We're better. It's not like that over here. I don't care if you have to buy product right out. Does not matter. I don't care if you can surpass the person who recruited you. Does not matter. If you are paid more for recruiting someone than you are actually selling a product then that is a pyramid scheme. Now, one thing that I think is absolutely amazing is that everyone, and I mean everyone is talking about this, the fact that it did so well and became number one on Amazon Prime and so many people are watching it, so many different media outlets are covering it. Not only that, but more mainstream people, you know, other podcasts. Um, the My Favorite Murder podcast has talked about it. There's obviously Vice, there's the New York Times, there's there's other more mainstream publications that are covering this. And it's so, so, so important to have other people get in on the conversation. I've had so many people leave comments and say, oh, I found your channel after watching the Lula Rich documentary. And that's why it's so amazing. And why I am just so proud of you know, the people who made this documentary, the people who were a part of it. So happy for them so proud for them and, and for I don't want to say us because I hate even calling this a community because then there's all these stigmas with it and people try to come for me and be like that's not what anti-MLM content's supposed to be and I'm like well I didn't I lost my handbook can you send me yours because clearly you wrote it but that's why it's so amazing when these types of projects do so well because it brings in so many eyes to this movement itself. And that makes the conversation bigger, bigger than just a joke here or there. You get to see how many lives 
these MLMs have ruined. You get to see how many people have been affected by this in the MLM and not in the MLM. And you get to see that there is this stigma with it, but there's truth behind the stigma of isn't that an MLM? And that's really what we're trying to do here is create this stigma. I've said so many times, I, I, I'm probably not going to be able to close down any MLM. There's so many things in place to where just a bunch of other ones are going to pop up. My goal is to create a stigma when you hear Monate, when you hear LuLaRoe, when you hear Arbon, when you hear any of these, when you hear MLM, direct sales, network marketing, social selling, whatever bullshit name they can come up with. And that's what these huge publications and these huge projects and these documentaries that go to number one on Amazon Prime, that's what they do. They help back the stigma. So I am here to tell you that the MLM that you are involved in, the MLM that whoever is involved in is not different. It is the same. It's probably worse, actually, because it's bigger and it's not as easily identifiable. That beautiful girl who does great reels on Instagram that you like to follow, check out her link tree or her link in bio. What's she trying to sell you? Is it an MLM product? And if you don't know, then go ahead and find out the name of the company. And then Google is blank and MLM. And if something comes up that says it's direct selling, it's network marketing, it's multi-level marketing, then it's an MLM. If someone's trying to recruit you to do the same thing they do, trying to recruit you through social media to become an influencer, to social sell with them, to promote products, no, don't do that. And I say this all the time, but I'm gonna say it again and I'm gonna keep saying it. No is a full sentence. No is a full sentence. Create boundaries, learn how to say no and get comfortable with it. Why is someone going to get mad at you if you say no to working for them for free? No, 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 no. We don't have time for that. Your time's too valuable for that. And so is mine. No. Or if you don't want to try a product, if you're walking, let's say you're walking through Macy's and some girl at the counter says, as you're walking by and passing says, oh, hey, would you like to try this? Or would you like to smell this? And if you just say, oh, no, thanks, I'm good. Are they going to start yelling at you and say, well, you're just lazy or oh, well, why not? They're not going to keep going. They're just going to say, oh, okay, right. It's a little bit weird in it, it. Per usual, I will have some great resources linked down below. Some of my favorite videos on this topic, some great podcasts on this topic as well. And I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And that's really all I have to say about the Lula Rich documentary. It was amazing. It was it, it was so, so, so good. And I'm so happy that, like I said, projects like this are getting so much attention and are doing so well. So let's keep that stigma strong. Let's keep saying hard no, because no is a full sentence, to these boss babes in your DMs, okay? Have a great day. You're super valuable. Stay assertive. Create those boundaries. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.